Everybody knows the Pythagorean tree, but have you ever built one from scratch using only high school maths? Let's start simple, with a 1 by 1 square we will call A. To grow the tree, you just copy the square and then scale it, rotate it, translate it, technologic. And then you copy the square again and scale it, <coughs> rotate it, translate it. And that's it, you're done. Well, not quite. Where do these numbers come from? If you look closely, a tiny right triangle appears. Now label the apex xy. Using a squared plus b squared equals c squared, this gives us side length b equals the square root of x squared plus y squared, and the side length c equals the square root of 1 minus x squared plus y squared. That's the scale, but what about the rotation? Using so ka toa, you get angle theta b equals the arctangent of y over x, and angle theta c equals minus the arctangent of y over 1 minus x. Now all that is left is the translation. So let's translate the tree of Pythagoras to Dutch. The boom van Pythagoras. But to actually get the tree moving, you need to find out how much you should shift it to the left. To do this, you draw two additional lines which form a new right angle triangle. You can get the shift to the left by calculating half the diagonal length scaled by the side length b multiplied by the cosine of theta b plus half the right angle or 45 degrees using Soka Toa again. You also need to account for the shift left from the center of A. Same thing for finding the shift upwards. And also the same thing for the other side, except now you want to find the shift to the right. Now that you've found the values for scaling, rotating and translating, you can combine them into a single operation as follows. This gives you two transforms, one for going left and one for going right. To build a tree, just repeatedly apply these two transforms. Because the entire tree depends on the apex, you can now move it around and make the tree dance. So now you know how to make a Pythagorean tree fractal using just high school maths. Or you can skip the maths and just hang one of my fractal posters on your wall.